if we think about He Who Remains at the end of Loki season one, that man was tired of doing what he was doing. He was tired of his job, you know. But was he? I I think so because at the end of the day, check this out. Regardless of who ends up on the throne in the end, it's still going to be a different king. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not the same variant, but it's still going to be king. And I think uh, for me in this episode, like talking about like just the beginning where Renslayer and Miss Menace first put uh, Victor Tommy on his journey and dropped that book off. It really had me like, yo, like, okay, even in his free will of saying like, I am going, like, this is how it's going to work regardless. I got this contingency plan to make sure that, you know, things happen the way that they should. Is he kind of himself now? Like, who is the, who is the real winner in all of it? Like I said, Kane don't do partners. It, it's him. He, he's a power hungry dude that only cares about himself and, it, it's clear as day, even when Renslayer was trying to team up with them from the get-go, he had that mindset of, I don't split with nobody, I don't go half seas. it's all about me and my desires. And it kind of seems the same way when he said, like, oh, I'll give you guys this choice, or I'm tired, I'm going to let you guys do it. I, it doesn't seem real now. Like, now that we see his origin and his, under, his mindset... Why Why would he drop off the book if he was really that... Con if he truly believed what he was saying, there's no need to pretty much create Kang. He he created himself on purpose because he wanted to put himself back on mm -hmm. the throne, you know? It's, it, it's, it's pretty much like he is, is just doing it over on purpose. And he's like, eh. Instead of like, oh, I'm not going to know what's happening next. And it's like, P.S. If I die, drop this book off exactly at this door, so then I can come back it here at this location. Like, that, that's also, what I'm saying. It's like a weird con to me. This is yeah. revealing him. He's a con man. Oh, he's a con man now. Okay. I mean, so, uh, they, they show hints of it at the convention. Like he's yeah. showing off the convention. It's breaking. He's showing off these other inventions. They're breaking. And mm -hmm. he, it's, he paid off the dude at the he bar. Paid off the dude help raise the bidding mm -hmm. and when you think about him having the book he's not even the person who invented the stuff you know it's like he didn't you, write it no he didn't write the book exactly he exactly. didn't write the so book like you're passing off all this stuff mm -hmm. off and but when, when you think about that king and then the future king can you take anything the future king words seriously you know and loki and sylvie both looked at each other and wondered you know, can we trust, like, is he saying, what, what is he, what is he saying? Is it true? Yeah. Can we even risk it, you know? Yeah. But, okay, so I'm going to play devil advocate at this point, right? So, really, depending on who you ask, you could say he who remains, who, he who remains is actually the good king. Because, after all of the things that he went through to get to this point by being all the rest of the kings, making one singular timeline, he's stopping the inevitable, which is destruction for the rest of the world. So in that sense, there's always going to be one person that's like, like takes away that free will by making one timeline. But the result of not having one timeline is the chaos that we're about to see. Yeah, but I think so. So is that really a that. con? If he wants them to take yeah, over? It's, it's him. You see what I'm saying? It's it. He does it. Yeah, but if he if they take over for him, he doesn't have to do it anymore. And there's no more but, king but, at all. But him giving the book to Renslayer was not based on, like, oh, it, you're saying if I die, automatically give the book back. Like, he did you think he who remains was just going to yes. retire and, and walk away and never do anything ever again? No, he can't retire. He can't retire. No, well, if, if they would have went with Loki's plan, like, 
will take yeah. over the TVA, blah, blah, blah. What do you think He Who Remains would have done? I don't think he has to die, for one. Yeah, yeah. So if he does go off, he can do whatever he wants at that point. But yeah, um, because he does die and they don't take over, his whole thing was that he was done. He didn't want to live anymore. He's living for eons, right? Yeah. So, and he pretty much said that if I die, yeah, you'll just meet, I'll just be right back here in a little bit. Like if I die and you don't take over, then yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Right. Yeah. So really, a plan that he put forward, like he is the one who, if I die, go back in the past and drop off a book. You see what I'm saying? Yes, that was in, uh, that was in Ms. Menace's programming for that to happen. From gang. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, con man. (laughs) Like it's it's literally like I'm giving you choice, but I've already made the choice that I'm gonna come back here. But it's not him, though. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand where I'm at. Like, I understand, like, the the nature of him inevitably getting back to the same spot. But that wouldn't happen if they took over. It would still be one continuous timeline, and there would be no king, and the TVA would still be the TVA. It's just... Once you understand the full scope of what it takes to create the TVA and um, getting rid of variants and things like that, the question is at that point comes to morals and like, are you okay with pruning a person because they stepped out of line, right? So for Kang at this point, if he doesn't, if he doesn't come back, the whole world is done anyway. That's what he was saying. Yeah, that's what he thinks. Yeah, you know that's, what I'm but that's it's that, not, that, that's what I'm saying. We're it's seeing what he his, knows now, though. But it's what he knows because he's been through it. Type B. You yeah, making so, me seem so, like an apologist, bro. Why does this always yeah. have it? <laughs> yeah, because it's it's just we we see the original nature of why he's thinking the way he's thinking. He he doesn't do any partnerships. He doesn't believe mm-hmm. anyone else can do what Kang does. It has to be him. So like even well, obviously he thought Loki and him could do it. But that's why I'm saying we see the the little snippets of it. He does not. It looks like a con. It it's like I'm gonna give you the option to to will you give me a hundred dollars or will you not? But I know you're gonna give me the hundred dollars. You know, bro. but I'm gonna make it seem like that. Because even when he pleads to Sylvie, yeah. he's, he's he's pleading for his life, not necessarily for good and nature. And he's like, well, I yeah. haven't done any of the, these bad things you're talking about that. Exactly. I'm not like them. Do you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, nah, you're right, bro. You're right. <laughs> and and Sylvie is, is yeah. realizing Kang robbed people of their choices. Like, that was the main yeah. reason why she was against them. Like, mm-hmm. these people in Branch Timeline have their own choices, and he's pretty much saying... Too bad. Doesn't yeah. matter. That determination is not good enough. Your life's wow. gone. And for Sylvie not to take King's life right there is going against knowing mm-hmm. kind of like what you'd be. But King, I'm yeah. telling you, is doing the thing oh where it's like, gosh. I'm giving you the choice. I haven't done none of this <laughs> bad stuff. I'm not. And then it's like, yeah. um, even when he dropped off uh, Renslayer, bro, mm-hmm. or uh, what? Yeah, Renslayer? Yeah, Renslayer, yeah, Ravonna. Yeah, Ravonna. I was like, bro. Yeah. Miss Minutes is like, yeah, we I knew like ooh, Yeah, she know. Yeah. As soon as she said partnership, uh Miss Minutes was like, yep, look, look, okay, look, we don't we don't we yeah. don't do nothing. He took that hand right back. He thought she was uh-huh. about to be a buzz down. He was like, nah, I can't. <laughs> we drop her down into this water. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So it's yeah, just kinda like Miss Minutes right, knows his nature already. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and and that's why all I'm saying is like that partnerships, and then me wow. seeing how he started up and how he got the book, I was like, this is how, this is the same dude. This guy, this is how he gets there. Dang, it's so it's that snippets. it's that that true nature that they keep harping back on because in the episode they not only talked about his. Which now you're saying that he's a con artist, which makes a lot a lot more sense. And then also uh, with Loki and Sylvie, how they flip flop. 
you know yeah depending on whose side they're on and even um like it, it's like for loki it's like you have to really take him there because he doesn't want to do these things like yeah but loki's but, thinking like you're thinking like yeah like it, it is what he's doing is this the best option mm -hmm. but sylvie is like why Sylvie's, should we even trust this dude? Like, yeah, you know, like he's Sylvie's telling thinking, us it's the best. Yeah, Sylvie's thinking like macro. I know what it's like. I've been through this my whole life of like what it's like when somebody makes that choice for you. And Loki's yeah. thinking on the micro level of like, yo, the TVA might be inherently bad, but yeah. like yeah. there's these are there are still people that are in the TVA and if we don't do something they're all going to die. Yep. So it's like sacrifice a few for the many type beat and yeah. That is crazy, bro. I did not yeah. think about that. That is insane.